Hey, hey guys. guys, here's our top five Caribbean Easter recipes you need to know how to make this Easter. Number one has to be fried fish. It could be any kind of fish. It could be snapper, red bream, parrot fish. What Caribbean people do is we escabeach the fish. Escabeach is basically a process of frying the fish. Also making a vegetable, vinegary, flavorful dressing that garnishes on top. Mum, grandma, used to always make it in the mornings and the yard just stink on a fried fish. If you don't like the smell of fish, you can always steam the fish with the lid on top or you can put it in the oven. I hope you don't like that frying smell. Stew fish, steamed fish. You can't have steamed fish without water crackers. You have to have that in there as well. Number two is bun and cheese. Cheese! At any Caribbean bakery around Easter time, the queues to get bun and cheese around the corner, around the bend, up the street, just to get this bun and cheese. You know, cornfield and corn heat, man. The queues out there is a madness. But we've got the recipe in our book. They've got to try it, bro. It's a Jamaican spice bun that is similar to hot cross bun in the UK, but it's got a lot more flavour to it. It's full of spices, it's got dried fruit in it, red label wine, and so much array of flavour. When you're making it, you're going to smell all the goodness. And it's combined with cheese in between two slices of spiced Jamaican bun. And oh my days, it is so good. It's so good. I'm drooling about it, just thinking about it. Top tip for these guys here, see the bun, toast it and then put some butter on it. Watch the butter just melt on the, the, the bun. The thing turn up. Number three has to be ackee and sartfish. Yes guys, you need to know how to make that. Very important. It's Jamaica's national dish as well. One of my favourite dishes guys. This is a recipe that we have in the morning to set us up for the day. Jeez, ackee and saltfish in the morning bro. Oh, it has to be done. It tastes amazing. And it's so quick and it's easy to make. And make sure you're very gentle with the ackee, you know, don't mash up the tin. And the saltfish, guys, make sure you boil your saltfish two or three times over. And for the old school people, soak the tin overnight, because we don't want no salty saltfish. Nah. Number four is bami. Bami is a Jamaican flatbread that is made out of cassava, but you can easily, easily get it from your local Afro Caribbean or Asian market in a packet. And all you have to do is take it out of the packet, put it in a bowl with some milk, let the milk absorb in that lovely flat bread circular shape. You can even fry it, you can bake it. Yeah, there's a choice between breadfruit and bami. It's a tough decision, but bami is not something that you have every day. It's more of an Easter thing, I think. What do you guys think? Last but not least, number five has to be festivals. Listen guys, it looks like these festivals will be the only one we have in this year. It's a madness. Basically, oversized dumplings, that's what I call them, with a bit more flavour and sweetness because of the cornmeal, the nutmeg, the cinnamon, and the extra sugar. When cooked right, they complement fish so much. Just break off the festival, taste it on top of the fish, and it's yum. Guys, you've got me thinking about it really. There's so much more you can make as well, guys. That's in our cookbook. Comment below what top five Caribbean recipes you make during Easter time. Thanks so much, guys. Take care of yourself and have a great Easter. Peace.